What's the Dom's current position? I'm tracking him now. What? What could this mean? They've entered Lenislika Airport. They're planning on flying out. Not if we can help it. Billy! We've come so far. We can't let him escape now. Nika, the gates to the airport are shut. We'll have to break through. Brace yourselves, everyone! We're running out of time, so I'll make this quick. A large cargo plane is waiting on the runway. Don Corsioni plans to use it to flee the country. His remaining soldiers are defending the runway. They're going to try and buy the Don enough time to take off. And at no point in this we plan did we decide to just down. shoot down the plane. The I just want to time. point that out. I, I bet the boss the fight is going to be two of these planes the plane just bumping off. into us. <laughs> Oh, just like the bulldozers. See, the next stage would just be a fight against the FFA. Or FAA or whatever. Yeah, that one. I, never would have thought I did it. Have this many troops left. <laughs> it's ridiculous that Grave was able to get into the airport with all those guns. <laughs> We're breaking several laws. First that, and also being on the runway as a person. <laughs> and you can see all kinds of new enemies like uh, Jetpack Men. Well, it's an airport. They got them lying around. I, yeah. I mean, I guess so. I mean, how else are you going to keep up with the planes and make sure that they're getting off yeah. correctly? And our next enemy types uh, guys are like those uh, those flat like escalators. <laughs> We're going to fight those guys with the glowing sticks that wave the planes in. Oh yeah. Then we have to fight. Then we just have to fight a guy doing baggage checking. And we have to fight the uh, cunt who stole my weed and had me in jail for two weeks. Oh man, the TSA is just ruthless these days. Oh, yeah. I tell you, those white folks, we have a drop. I'm just gonna say, this level already oh sucks. <laughs> Whoa! Fuck. Hello. This level already sucks because it doesn't start with you going through the metal detector and it going <laughs> off. Oh, you're right, that is the one thing this level is missing. Oh. That would have been really good. I'm surprised, because that seems like the sort of gag they would make. But no. Yeah, it was right there. Anyways, you might notice that me checking the uh, <clears throat> checking back every so often. Uh, that's because there's a surprise enemy coming up soon. But until then, we've just got all these people with uh, ballistics, which also probably shouldn't be on the runway. That seems dangerous. That's really... right, folks. It's the current president-elect, Donald Trump, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I really love their, it gets their, me every time. their football <laughs> spike animation. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing about the enemy, unlike the rest of the things about the enemy. <laughs> just like, they just put all their body into it. They're penalized for excessive celebration. The penalty is death. Grave is actually just a life referee. <laughs> Oh, there's the bad enemy! It's oh, a helicopter! Aw, oh, cool. So wait, it was never behind you at all? Um, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so the helicopter will just run away after a point. <laughs> and so it leaves us with these other flying enemies. And here's the real issue with flying enemies is the way the lock-on works in this game is already rough as is. Uh, anything that's like above or below you, it's kind of like there's a circle around you that the lock-on works for. So as they're higher up, it gets harder to do it from farther. Huh. So wait, the the lock-on is on their pay? Yes. So the helicopter will fly back and forth throughout the level. So you can only shoot at it for a little bit of time. So uh, I just stood here and took it out. So this is the third type of extra shot. So the other ones are just like full-on damage dealers. This will slow down time and increase your jackpot like those other attacks will. And the jackpot, as it turns out, I didn't learn this until late into my recording of this game. The jackpot will increase your health based on how high it is. Oh. Wow. Wait, what? Yeah, so your jackpot score will heal you um, in this game. 
I, yeah, I had no idea. So basically, uh, redo the LP. Yeah, so basically, I thought about it. I legitimately thought about it. Um, but I think in a lot of cases, especially with playing on hard, I didn't even have access to that until I started my second playthrough. So I didn't want to show it off until this point. Is like, this is something that you can use. It still makes the game hard, but it does make certain parts of it more manageable, for sure. Anyways, a second. Anyways, a second helicopter shows up too. Um, so I, I thankfully just skipped through all of that. I blew them both up, and now they won't uh, disturb me for the rest of the game. Oh, good job. You did it. But it's a really frustrating because I cut out probably like ten minutes of me fighting both those helicopters. <laughs> yeah, those helicopters just seem really unfun and like kind of yeah. to, just a bullet sponge. Yeah, I, I... yeah, like you can't. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, I always hate bo uh, boss fights where half the fight is spent just waiting for the boss to come back into range. Yeah, and like, you can finish the, uh, you can finish the level without killing those helicopters, but they just pop up, they'll basically just shoot at you for, you know, a good 15, 20 seconds, mm -hmm. and then leave, and with you having to dodge everything else going on, it's just kind of a nightmare. So I just found it easier at that point to, uh, to just take care of them before I continued on. And let me tell you, yeah. I beat that that first helicopter, and when the second one showed up, I got so mad I actually had to pause the game the first time <laughs> and just walk away. <laughs> yeah, you like uh, I bet. threw your controller at the TV and we're like, Mom, we've got to buy a new TV. Because I thought about, uh, I, I thought that it might have been like an infinitely spawning enemy. Right. Thankfully, there are just only two of them. <laughs> and while there are more tanks, they're a lot easier to deal with, because they're on the ground, they don't fly away from you at no point, and they can't attack you from behind. Unless you turn around, but you know, that's your fault. Yeah, you moron. You maroon. You goof. But you know, Beyond the Grave is smarter than that. Ignore oh, yeah. all the times that I turned around immediately to watch a man throw a missile into my back. In this level, just... Don't even think about it. <laughs> or else. <laughs> they really do throw a lot of, like, big enemies at you at this point. Yeah. But there's enough space to walk back to get your shields back. And there aren't just a ton of them on screen. So it is a lot more manageable than in, like, the previous level where it's just a bunch of dudes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, the, good, the good thing seems to be that you don't draw too much aggression at once. But the bad thing is it just seems like such a slow, kind of, plodding pace of, like, taking them out one by one so that way you don't get completely destroyed. I wonder why the Don hasn't taken off yet. Oh, you know, he's they gotta do all the flight checking stuff, they don't have the bot oh, yeah. type that like, he likes. Uh, American Airlines, they delayed it once again. <laughs> I bet oh he's really God. annoyed because he can't actually access his phone right now. It's like, yeah. <laughs> no, we might take can't off check soon. Twitter. Yeah, no, yeah, he's just angrily tweeting about it right now. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think even if it's slower, the way that it sets up these challenges is a lot better. You can run forward totally and just ignore these guys, but they will turn <laughs> around and attack you. I forgot about these guys. Oh yeah, these guys. The two, the two man missile. Yeah, it's really good. The the, the missile battering ram boys. Yeah, I definitely on my first playthrough just tried to kind of run to the end, but there's a gauntlet of enemies you have to kill at the end. So I uh, immediately got destroyed by like 500 enemies coming at me. I'm going after the control. Seems more like they're slowing you down. Yeah. But thankfully, I've been saving up a lot of uh, a lot of my super moves. But yeah, like at this point, you have to take out these particular tanks. Presumably, they got something going on, but you know. Yeah, I don't know how this plane's gonna take off with all these things on the runway. <laughs> well, maybe they're using a different runway. Like, this one is specifically for the tanks. Yeah, so this is the final <laughs> gauntlet that I talked about. Out of nowhere from behind you, two tanks pop out. 
See, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not just paranoid, I swear. I'm actually really I've been cool. waiting for this moment. <laughs> it tanks one to no one. <laughs> oh, you are right. That full minute of silence was just trying to come up with that zinger. <laughs> thank, thank you. I'm glad you did. It was really good. Oh yeah, like, I'm still trying to come up with one myself. I'll see you guys in like two minutes. <laughs> Anyways, at this point I learned you could just leave. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out you only need to take out one of the tanks in the barricade. Oh, that's good. Bye! So, you've come. I never thought I'd see you again. Go ahead and laugh. I know I'm pathetic. I know I look like a disgusting mess. I also know I have to beat you. Well, wait, wasn't he already- oh, no, he was, um, alive on Seed or whatever. Yeah, he got some Seed enhancements, now he's a dead man. And on Seed enhancements. <laughs> He used to be Biker Undertaker, now he's Dead Man Undertaker. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sure, they'll bring back Boonchi, but they won't bring back fucking Bob. <laughs> well, right? well, they did bring back Bob. He was that hor he was part of that horrible amalgamation. Honestly, what's more Bob than the horrible amalgamation? <laughs> yeah, right? It's hard to get more maximum than that. He was a big, fat tumor on that gross monster. And then there's the spiritual sequel of the hotel manager. Die. Right. So, uh, Boonji here is a lot like his last fight, where he is comparable to you in terms of moves, and he has some, like, special magic attacks that are uh, difficult to dodge, but, like, I don't know, reasonably fair. The big thing, though, is just that he does a ton of damage, which is fine as a boss, I think. Um, I don't think that's fine. And it's all bad. about distancing and stuff, um, and being able to use these six super moves. But uh, positioning is such an important part here, because at any point you can run away and hide behind the, uh, the fences for a while, and be able to heal as long as you kind of keep him down. So there is chances to get away, it's not just like a, a damage, uh, damage race. Plus, he's, like, majorly cool. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally ready for the for the gun grade competitive scene. I think I can hold my own now. <laughs> I wish that you could play multiple characters in this game, like, against each other. Like, all of, like, the, the, the spacing tech. They have to yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I mean, look at that guy. He's got a sick, uh, he's got a sick dash. That'd be sick. Uh, yeah. Finally, the first competitive scene where everyone gets carpal tunnel 25. <laughs> look, that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah. I've look, been looking for an excuse to get Carpal Tunnel professionally. <laughs> look, that's just the risks you take when you when you do what you love for a living. The only thing I dislike about this boss fight that I also disliked about his original fight is if you run away for too long, he can totally heal, like right there. Uh, he can't heal if you don't shoot him off of there. And it's really frustrating, um, to lose all that progress. Yeah. But thankfully, just, like, one shot will, like, stop him. Oh, well, that's good. I missed the church. And also, we get the graveyard finishers again. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they finally combined a, a zoning and a grappler character. So, so like, we killed this dead man by shooting him. Yes. Yeah, but you shot him a lot. And now he's double dead. Right. Because of the bullets. Gun green. Kind of like us if we game that, over. That had made him dead in the first place. Heat. 
I feel like I did when we first met. Back when it was just you and me. Back before everything got so complicated. Those were great days. To think that I was once so happy. Thinking back on it now. I guess my life was worth living after all. I'll be waiting for you. In hell. Brother. Grave, Mr. Cabernet. The Don's cargo plane is about to take off. I'm going after it with the truck. Go. I'll take care of things here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> so now we're on the plane, and this part of the plane is covered in tanks. And the enemies will just throw themselves at you, so the easiest way to take care of them is just to stand in this one place and just go bonkers. But I just love that Brandon says nothing, but there's still an exclamation mark at the end of all of his ellipses. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a surprise. Like, he maybe gasps. No, he doesn't. He just... He, he raises his eyebrows, I guess. <laughs> he says what the... But he says it in an extremely tiny voice. In sign language or in uh, binary with guns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn, inter damn fucking airplane the internet. Oh, never works right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just standing here is more or less a viable strategy because they will run at you and it's easier than trying to... Um, <laughs> move around the area <laughs> because uh, because these enemies are designed to go into the tanks and they will start shooting you with the tanks. Oh man, I really They're designed like this. to go crazy. I like really it. like Yeah, it's a good flailing animation. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's <is> just <laughs> He's just going to town. That guy's just going hard like he's oh. in the damn club or something. He's going whole hog, yeah. <laughs> Also, as you can see, if you are really careful about this, like me, you can just get your beat to absurd numbers. Oh my god. It's yeah. really cool. I love big numbers. And as you'll see, I'm going to grind here for the next five minutes to get to 666. Well, I hate big numbers because I'm a millennial and I'm too <laughs> stupid for them. Uh, the only number I care about, the only numbers I care about are one or participation. <laughs> oh yeah. The only numbers I care about are 69 and 420. Every other number That's also is irrelevant. Cool. Oh, get a job, you hippie. <laughs> I am actually going to stand here for a little bit and just uh, artificially inflate my score. <laughs> yes. Oh, bye. I had to hit 600. I was so close. <laughs> oh, you could have gotten 666. I thought about it. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Grave? What's the matter? Have you forgotten me? I guess that's to be expected, isn't it? After all, you threw everything away when you died. You must have, otherwise... No human being could do what you do. I can never forgive you. Everything I cared about, you took from me. My father. And my beloved Harry. All gone. Because of you. 
This one's for Harry McDowell. Now it's your turn, Brandon Heat. She was also Bob Pound Max's side squeeze. <laughs> Gross! Anyways, this is like the <laughs> easiest fight in the game. Oh, and he had to squeeze, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Don't squeeze him, though, you'll get stuck. Supremely easy, both for the difficulty of the game and for when she gets placed into the game. So during this first phase, she'll just kind of run around a bit and, like, shoot you with her double sword gun sonic wave, whatever the fuck. Yeah. And it's, like, really easy to dodge as long as you keep moving. Giant, <laughs> Look, like, she doesn't have an, any idea what she's doing. They were like, they just brought <laughs> me back. I'm so confused. They just kind of handed me a weapon, and I don't know. Oh, no, she kicked me in the face. Uh... Wouldn't she have been a skeleton by now? No. Overall, it's like, it's pretty easy. Um, the second phase is a little more difficult, but still not like... Uh, dangerous, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I don't need to pick a job. Oh my god. <laughs> like, she doesn't she need to pick a that guy into Bolivia. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, man. So, um, now, so the last fight was a fight of guns. This fight is a fight of, uh... Uh, physical attacks. Also good. Serpentine motions. So she will most, mostly dodge guns. Not that, but if you just regular shoot her, she will, for the most part, dodge it with her sweet, uh, dashing and get close into you and try to, like, kick you in the face. Um, at which point you just repel her back with your, uh, coffin. And that's sort of just how this fight goes. You can get some shots off on her, which is why I do that, and then try to be careful about not getting kicked. Yeah. But again, it's a very simple um, routine to get used to. Like, it's a very simple pattern. But the timing changes on it, like, depending on your own actions. Like, she won't dodge back and forth if you're not shooting. Huh. So you can kind of... There's a little bit of variance and stuff in there and how you can affect it. And then you can just, like, shoot her with a rocket, whatever. Yeah, that actually sounds like a pretty decent boss fight. I'm just really confused on, like, how you become a dead man? There's, like, a, a, a revival uh, bit. Like, you just get brought back to life. But how, how soon after the death? Um... I don't know. And we never really get to know, but it happens. Like... Could you fight, like, Julius Caesar as a dead man? <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Well, only if you could find his body. Actually, that would be a really, um... Hey, Red Entertainment, hit me up. I've got a great <laughs> idea for uh, Gun, Gun Grade, Grade 3. 3. The search for Julius Caesar's dead body. Uh, the subtitle would be Et 2, Beyond the Grave. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's E3. Wow. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. But yeah, you, but you actually end up playing as John Wilkes Booth in that one. Oh, oh shit. my god. I think the body has to be intact is the general idea. Okay. So she was preserved very well. I have to assume. So what if like you put all the body parts back together? Like Uh maybe? You just like find all the body parts to Jesus. Can you bring him back? You'd have to like stitch man? him back together. What if like you get like a, a recently deceased body, but then you put like like a like a old like a long dead person's brain in there that you preserve. Ooh, I don't know. See, these are interesting ideas that could be explored in Gun Grave Three if it existed. Yeah, what if she had Harry McDowell's hand? Could <laughs> just, Harry just McDowell hand. control her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe. <laughs> and also, she has the legs of Ronald McDonald. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. That's why she's always so kicking, because she's nuts. She's loving it. She's everything I've ever wanted and more. Fuck off. Oh, well. <laughs> like, like uh, even in my own LP, I don't get respect from you. It's just as he said. You are Death Incarnate. How many more people must you kill before you are satisfied? It doesn't matter. I... I'll finally be reunited with my beloved. My... Harry.
Oh, we are a bunch of jesters for sure. <laughs> we might as well run for Congress with such clowns. Oh boy, you know it. So there were the first two stages of this game. We've got one more to go. And it's in an airplane. Oh yeah. It's tight quarters, so that's bad. But also we're in an airplane, and that's cool. Yeah, let's depressurize the hell out of this ship. Let's go! Yeah. No smoking, baby. This game is first class. Especially these smiley boys. I love them. <laughs> yeah. Like, sometimes they aim at you, and sometimes they just go nuts. <laughs> They're just... They really want to mosh. Which, I mean, I can't blame them. Yeah. I, I mean, I get on an airplane and I'm just suddenly really, really want to go to a punk show. What do you? Th what movie do you think the Don's watching right now? Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what kind of movies would be available on an airplane. Norbit. <laughs> Norbit, yeah. Yeah. Norbit. Probably. Um, the the direct to video Babe sequel. The uh, worst part is he's not even watching Norbit because it's only on there. Eh? He loves that movie. <laughs> It's like uh, Murphy's best. He's like, wow, the bass is really kicking in this version. <laughs> it's, whatever movie it is, it definitely has Rob Schneider in it. <laughs> oh, he loves the water boy. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? It's a classic of modern, modern cinema. cinema. Yeah, it's a, it's a cinema classic. <laughs> he likes the Godfather remake where they put uh, Rob Schneider as the horse head. <laughs> <laughs> and he just does like a really bad Italian accent. He's like, hey, I'm Horace heading over here. Hey, uh, Cassandra, gotta kill your whole family. <laughs> when, uh, my mom was in airplane, the only movie on there was that, I think it was Reese Witherspoon movie, where she loses her, like, child on an airplane. And I was like, I'm gonna be that kid one day. <laughs> <laughs> You just climbed in the luggage compartments. Yeah. <laughs> Starring Rob Schneider as Polly Shore. Wow, that's a nice Rob Schneider you have there. Shame if something were to happen to him. <laughs> what, you're gonna rob that Schneider? Hmm. Eh. I love how it lines up rocket people just so you can shoot all of their rockets back at them and watch them die. Well, I like that they basically just kind of froze in place once you got far enough away from them. Yeah, that too. They're just like, oh, wait, we can't see him. Oh, he's too far away in yeah, this like you single. can barely see them through, like, the fog or, like, the draw distance, but they're just, like, they just stop and they're like, huh, well, that was weird. They have a worse draw distance. Yeah. So, you're behind this. You. Ingrate! Father, it pains me to say this, but you are a relic of the past. The time has come to move on. Don't worry about the organization. Maybe you haven't noticed, but I've been pulling the strings for some time now. Power has changed hands without a single drop of blood being shed. Now I am the Don. And Grave, I must extend my thanks to you. After all, none of this would have been possible without your unwitting assistance. Dr. T certainly outdid himself creating you. And now, I really must be going. I've already said too much. Oh, there is one more thing. This cargo plane has been rigged with explosives. There's no place for you to run. Garino, you son of a... This is farewell, Don Corsione. My unworthy adopted father. I have acquired so much thanks to you. I'm truly grateful. 
I must say goodbye to you as well, Crave. I'm afraid you won't be given a proper burial, but hell awaits you just the same. Holy shit! Just, just this mafia boss just being like, "Oh, not cool, my he's buff now." Wow, his son did him a favor. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here's the new. Here's him. Uh, oh my! What? I, uh, what's, wow, he just so looks he has, like my dad. So he has one very beefy arm, which then the skin split into those like spiked supports. And his other arm holds his katana. They look like praying mantises one way, and then the other way they just look like another kind of bug. I don't know. I, yeah, I actually I, didn't even notice that uh, that was his arm that was coming out of the top of his body until I started going over these videos for recording. <laughs> it's just, like, real fucked up. Yeah. It turns out that the mob boss is actually just an Eldritch Horror. Yeah, so this is one attack I don't like of his, which is he just like shoots from off the screen. Um, really fast, like, you have to kind of anticipate knowing when he's going to hit the screen, because otherwise you won't have enough time to dodge out of the way. Yeah, it's otherwise, he's plain pretty unfair. Manageable. <laughs> but, uh, so, the, the places you're aiming for are his chest, and also the little red dots on his arm extensions. That's where he'll take damage. Otherwise, he also shoots out these mosquitoes. They're miserable. Um, I, really, I really wish he was like little machine gun mosquitoes. Like <laughs> I really wish he was like propping himself up with his other hand. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. If his, if his arm was just a little bit longer to hold the katana and have him on the ground. Yeah. This is your uh, pilot speaking. We're about to experience some turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like if he was propping himself up with his smaller arm, and then his his smaller or his katana is in his gigantic hand, so it looks like way smaller. That would be really good. I'd be into that. <laughs> like he just throws it at you. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just holding this this like thumbtack in his hand, or like a toothpick. <laughs> yeah, toothpick. No, no thumbtack has been folded a thousand times enough for him to be able to use it as a weapon. Can he actually slash you with it if you get close? Uh, if you get too close, yes, but I do my best not to get close. Because he also has an attack, as you see, where he like jumps onto you, and the closer you are, the more likely he's going to be able to hit you. Yeah, you don't want to get close to him. Look at him, he's fucking weird. Yeah, that guy is nuts. What wow, a, rude. What a weird boy. Anyways, as it turns out, I've never dodged it more than once. That was the first time, and he actually does it three times. Cool. So I wasn't ready for the third one, and I was like, ah, shit, I got hit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure just making up excuses, you, uh, yeah, casual. Yeah, that's me. You millennial boy. No, it's millennium. Why, why don't why don't you just go be your pajamas, you pajama boy? <laughs> All right, I'm on it. I'll take one for the team and be the pajama boy. Also, one nice thing about this is there's enough space to be able to run away and get your shield back at any point. Uh, unless you're being chased by these mosquitoes, the mosquitoes will not let you go. And actually, if you stop moving, they will surround you, and just in a circle, they'll all shoot right in the middle, and it's dangerous. But you can do that, and it normally gets a lot of them out of the way. I mean, that's how I take care of my bug problems. Like, for the most part, I do think a lot of these bosses are really interesting in this game, and have, like, neat gimmicks and stuff to them. Yeah, this is like a like fucked up Dark Souls boss, I love it. I actually, I actually kind of like this, yeah. Like, the three bosses in this one are all different sort of, like, challenges in some ways. Like, the first one is really just, like, kind of a race to see who can kill each other first. 
The second one has like this weird strategy to it where you have to learn how to use all your different attacks. Whoa. Good and this job. one is just Oh, oh there's a fourth <laughs> one, fuck! <laughs> but um it's it's uh, I think it's cool how they're all kind of different bosses in this particular level. There are, even though we've gotten to the part where I think it's like just too hard in a lot of places, I think this does really well. Yeah, like, the last couple of boss fights have seemed pretty okay. Pretty, like, actually enjoyable. Yeah, and the, and the levels aren't just filled with, like, way too many an enemies to handle. Yeah. Like, sure, they're big and stuff, but also that means you can shoot them more. Yeah. The bigger they are, the more space you can shoot. Yeah, yeah. like, other than, like, the higher number of enemies that are just, like, bullets and generally speaking, it kind of seems like... It's still relatively fun for, la for later stages of, of the game. Yeah, this level is just really good, especially compared to the last one, and maybe the one before it, too. <laughs> string, string of bad levels, and that'll happen when you try to expand your game maybe a little too far. But also, the plot's picked up, and it's fucking nuts! Hell yeah. I'm all about and that And that's what shit. we're here for. Yeah. I like how that they just introduce characters for boss fights and then kill them off instantly. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, uh, Sherry, uh, Harry's wife, showed up in some of the cutscenes earlier, but, like, was not named or Wait. even given any attention to. Wait, Harry's wife's name is Sherry? Yeah. Yes! That's Sherry good. McDowell. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry married Harry. And what? When do we get to Mary fight their Harry son, Harry? Barry? <laughs> And when brother. do we fight them online as trolls with Sherry222 and Barry222? And then Harry's brother, Larry. Oh man, I was gonna say <laughs> Harry. <laughs> no, that's Graves' new move. The bullet parry. Also Terry. Can I do it this time? Let's see. Uh... Oh, I did it. Turns out it maxed out. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Every time I feel like I'm doing good at this video game, it it shows me that I clearly am not. And then he just started dancing over you. Yeah, he's an asshole. I'm glad we're killing this Don. Oh, he's such a monster. He teabagged me. He's like, oh, if you were only a little bit closer and also a glass of water. <laughs> No matter what happens, they have to explode. Oh yeah, I agree. A new feature has been unlocked. And I did really good with this level. Look at it, I didn't die once. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>